What's up, guys? <clears throat> this is Yo MG. Yo, my God, we're gonna do another Logic Pro tutorial. This is uh, drummer, and uh, this is more advanced drummer uh, stuff. So you've already got the basics of the drummer. So we're gonna jump right in. Uh, first of all, we're gonna pull up the drummer. Can't do any drumming without the drummer. Uh, it's gonna pull up your basic stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna load this over. Okay, so now that we have this in place. We're going to do a little bit more funky stuff. What we can do is we can jump over to our finder and any MIDI regions that we have created or purchased um, for other kits such as Superior Drummer, Addictive Drummer, most of these have similar mappings. So what you can do is you can navigate over to your library and anything you might have MIDI loops. You're going to double click the MIDI loop and you can pick a particular loop, whatever it is, and, and with MIDI it's great because it doesn't really matter. So pick a pop beat here <clears throat> and uh, auditioning them from the finder is a little funky just because it may not play the correct sounds yeah that was playing with the piano um, but it does work so now we're gonna bring back logic and we can bring this window over and now what we're gonna do is we can actually import the MIDI data right into logic just like we can drag uh, a plug-in or we can drag in audio whatever so now we've got this region if we want to use this region for the drummer we can do that we're gonna create a new new track for the same instrument It's not going to let us do that with the drummer track. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to drag this guy up here for right now and mute it. And if we drag this drum beat over here, that's a pretty weird beat, I gotta say. But it does work. And once you have MIDI data, then of course you can zoom in your file, mess with it fix anything you need. Um, the cool thing about this is if you have existing stuff that went with uh, some of the other products such as Period Drummer, Easy Drummer, what you can do is any of those loops that you had with those program will still work. So you can pull up uh, we'll do Superior Drummer because Easy Drummer does not have a 64-bit uh, counterpart but I'll show you how to do 32-bit plugins in another tutorial. So now we, we pull up our plugins, we pull up our song, let's say we play something. Uh, let's pull up something else. So I'll pull it up here. So we have our part here, whatever masterpiece this is or not. Um, we can shrink this up. So whatever works on Superior Drummer, all we have to do is drag this puppy up to our drummer track. Got all. Now you can hear a little bit of that glitch thing I was talking about. So now you can add more detailed information and more specific MIDI that you want, whether you want to play it in, whether you want to come to the finder and you want to find something that you might already have been using, you can drag that stuff in too. And most of it maps pretty well. Uh, not everything. And of course when you have uh, the MIDI data we can tweak anything we need to. So. So it gives us a lot more flexibility. Um, now what we can do here, as we drag this MIDI data around, um, we can also use the drummer stuff as well. So just because we set this drummer stuff to the side, we can either mute it or we can use this in different sections and we can kind of combine all these forces together to create a more intricate part.
And of course, while I'm in drummer, just like we said before, anything from each of these regions is still valid. So we can do individual fills, and we can drag the fills into a multitude of ways. Um, you can also bring them in if you have a third-party program that manages the fills or manages uh, audio or MIDI data such as Audio Finder or something like that. This will also work and you can also drag the information into that as well. Uh, once you have the MIDI then as you know we can do a lot more crazy stuff. We can apply all of our drum grooves and quantize settings that you may have saved before. So now with the drummer stuff um, if we bring this in as a drummer, it's got its own proprietary thing. When we're dealing with MIDI, then of course we can come to our quantization settings and we can add all of our fancy quantization that we may have had from before, Lindrum or MPC or shuffle settings or anything you may have Im imported in from an actual real drummer. All of that stuff can now be applied to the drummer. Same thing with the sounds. So you might be able to use a kick drum from this kit. You take the easy or the drummer and you might want to turn off, let's say, the snare and maybe just the cymbals. So since we're not allowed uh, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up to overlap and we'll drag this on top. Still can't get it, it's still going to replace it. I'm sure it's something they're going to work out, but apparently you're only allowed one drummer channel for right now. Okay, so now we're going to develop a little bit further and we're going to explore the producer kits and how they incorporate the mixer into their particular sound. So we're going to open a new and uh, we'll go new from uh, template. We'll do songwriter since it already has a drummer in there. Okay, so now that this is opened, uh, we can of course play the drums. Now, in addition to the drum kits that are over here in the library, we also have producer kits. And the producer kits takes the drum kits that they have and they mix them a little bit. And they separate the outputs and they do some funky things with them and make them sound different. So now we're going to click on Detroit Garage Plus here. got a little bit different sound when we open this up basically what it's created is a drum stack track and it's got everything separated for you and everything available on the mixer so when you pull up the mixer you've got all of the drums here so you can develop your sound any way you want If you don't like the snare sound, you can change it. So with this, it gives you a lot more flexibility to, first of all, customize the sound so everything doesn't sound like the drum kit. And I know when some of the drum kits, when Superior Drummer and Easy Drummer first came out, a lot, everything sounded like those kits. So now you can customize it. So if you're used to mixing your drums, you can do that. You've got all kinds of options for doing so, and it's really easy to separate them and uh, tweak whatever you want. They give you some presets to start with but feel free to save your own because it's really easy um, and you can just save them all as part of your library and taking these kits gives us even more flexibility to, to break up the song and to make interesting parts and let the song develop so hopefully this can give you some more tips on separating splitting and making the drums sonically pleasant and mixing in, into your arrangement so have a good day Feel free to subscribe. We appreciate it. Thank you.